Hey Libra, welcome to your May 2021 Money Career and Biz Reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general money career and biz energies for May 2021. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. If you're new here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the goodness that happens on this channel. So please remember that these are general readings. Apply the energies to your personal situation. These are energetic possibilities that may be manifesting in your month ahead. And if you are interested in my free astrology calendar, the link for that is in the description. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, the link for that is also in the description. And this month I've decided to offer extended readings for the business, money, and career readings uh, for May 2021. So if you are interested in that, we will be diving much deeper into the energies that come out in the general. I have some brand new Oracle decks that we'll also be using. So check it out. The link for that will be in the description as well. All right, Libra, let's get into your reading. I'm going to start with this deck, No Reversals, to get the general feel and flow of the energies. Then I will be pulling a Dream Oracle card to dive in a little deeper, and I will clarify that with additional tarot. And then I will take it to the other side with the extended reading, and we will be diving in with a few new Oracle decks, which will be really cool, and additional bold and bodacious tarot, etc. All right. Libra, let's see what we have going on for you in the month of May. Let's see. We have the Knight of Wands. Very nice. And we have the World card. Okay, we're not going to do reversals. So with the World card, we do have Taurus energy represented here. Knight of Wands, fire energy, something shifting very substantially and quickly in your world you may be called to take action upon a new direction in your life which necessitates closing out an old direction in your life <laughs> libra so endings beginnings things that require passion and fast decisions coming in taurus season right here so the first three weeks of the month all right let's dive in deeper mercury goes retrograde the 29th there is a full moon lunar eclipse happening in your third house in sagittarius um so you may see there could that could be coming around the 26th there could be some sort of situation wrapping up around then but i'm still feeling the first three weeks before the sun heads into into gemini Okay, let's see what else we have going on for you. Okay, so we have a Ten of Swords, Tower, and this is Uranus, and Uranus is in Taurus. Interesting. Four Coins, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so there is a situation going on here, put this down over here, where... I mean, it, it could be in regards to a home matter, but doesn't necessarily have to be with the Four of Coins here. Four of Coins is about our financial stability, our financial foundation in life. So there is something that is shaking you loose from a situation that has been stuck, as I said here. You may have felt very trapped in a situation. This could be I mean, whatever this is for you, you could be feeling trapped at your current work. You could be feeling trapped because you don't have work. You could be feeling trapped because you're burdened by some sort of home that you don't want to live in anymore. It's gotten to be too much for you. Um, you could be feeling trapped because you don't have the finances to move to a better place. There's, there's all sorts of possibilities. General reading, apply to your situation. But Knight of Wands often does indicate, as I said, some sort of situation that requires fast action and movement, which can indicate also some sort of moving on, literal move of a home. We have two energies of actually physically moving, a Six of Swords, although of course a lot of that's mental, but it can also be actually physically going from one location to another, as can be the Knight of Wands. So... There is something here where you may be shaken loose, Libra, from a place where you have been for quite a while. 
but it doesn't serve you anymore. That's the thing. It's become a place that has held you back rather than supported your continuing evolvement and development. So Uranus and Taurus, very interesting. A surprise comes. Now, of course, this is the 16th. I said I felt by, um, you know, the 20th, by the end of Taurus season, this is the number 21. So I feel anywhere from the 15th to the 21st, there could be some sort of very surprising development that requires you to make, I feel, I'm just going to tell you straight, it may require you to make a snap decision. But this situation has been coming for a while. Like this should not exactly be a surprise in a sense. What I'm feeling with this Libra, it's not so much that what comes is the surprise it's the fact that you finally are getting dislodged from this energy that's the surprising bit so this is like kind of what you've been wishing for so the way it happens i don't think will be that that surprising like i said i mean there could be there could be a little twinge tinge of of oh that's interesting attached to it but I'm not so sure it's going to really take you by surprise. Um, but what you're shifting out of is the stuck and what you're shifting into is a new chapter and better foundational security for yourself. So, and again, can be something in terms of holding on to more of your resources, being able to invest them in a way that is a better fit for you. This can be some sort of you know, moving on to a new job position that's going to pay you more money. Very, very possible here. World card is endings and beginnings, of course. So one chapter is finally ending and another beginning. And we, we cannot ignore the fact that, yes, Ten of Swords can sometimes be a betrayal. So, and with the Tower here, what I'm feeling is it's not so much a betrayal, but a broken promise, which, yes, can be a betrayal, I, I, I don't think it's as um, uh, Machiavellian as that. I don't think it's, it's as uh, sinister as uh, a betrayal uh, or manip as manipulative. I think it's somebody, it's just surprising that they, they break a promise to you. So what I'm feeling is like it's the type of thing where you could have been promised a promotion. You could have been promised a raise. A client could have said, oh, yes, I'll pay you tomorrow. I'll gladly pay you tomorrow for a hamburger today. If you know that quote, leave it, leave it in the comments, okay? Um, and then they never pay you. It's like that type of thing. And you kind of had your suspicions, but you were hoping that they their better nature would prevail, but it does not. So there's a surprise there. But you're letting go of something that is gonna allow something better to come in, which is, I think, the point here. And also, this Ten of Swords, it can be very problematic. And the Six is about moving on from trouble. So there has been perhaps something that's been a little troubling about the world that you've been in, your business, money, career, business world. But that is surprisingly uh, shifting out this month. Now, Uranus, represented by the Tower card, is in your eighth house of other people's money, of transformation, of starting anew, of healing, of uh, sex, death, taxes, etc. So there really could be a surprising culmination ending and a beginning with other people's resources. Like I said, somebody could promise you something they have no intention of delivering on. And so, you know, it's, and I don't think it's the first time they've done this. And you're kind of, when they do it again, you're like, uh, I'm out of here. No more of that. I'm not, not gonna, you're not gonna fool me twice. You know, shame on me if you fool me twice. You're not gonna go for that. So, this is good. Let's pull some other cards about this, but this is good. And so a new chapter will begin, but I do feel there will need to be a swift decision. And I know sometimes that as, as per your sign, because you're the sign of balance and justice, you know, you take your time to make decisions and you weigh all the evidence, which is great. I'm not so sure you'll have the luxury of time this month, Libra. Just keep that in mind. Again, general reading, but but keep that in the back of your mind. Three of coins. Good. Hanging man. 
four of swords and the four of wands okay it's very interesting so we do have two energies here hanging man and the four of swords in between you making a plan and happiness and celebration and satisfaction i'm asking about these two energies so there will be a new plan in place for you by the third week of taurus season because okay, so by the end of taurus season um to move on to greater financial stability for yourself. Um, some of you are working toward this greater financial stability because of a home situation, four of wands, either buying, selling, wanting a home, uh, getting stuff for your home, et cetera, and so on. Um, but four of wands doesn't always have to be about the home. It can just be about, you know, fours are about our foundation and wands are about, you know, our actions. So. How are our actions aligning with the foundational principles we believe in in the world? You know, what we think, how we want to, you know, walking our talk. So Four of Wands, because it's a celebration card, it can just be a sense of well-being foundationally that you have, that things are aligned. So, but notice in between the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, we have this shenanigan energy of the hangman and the four of swords both energies of suspended animation i'm not surprised to see this really uh because mercury goes retrograde may 29th we have and it stays that way until june 20th we have a new moon solar eclipse happening june 10th so what i feel is by this to me this four of wands takes you to the end of june you will have a lot of focused energy the first three weeks of May. You're going to be working on your new plan to set yourself free. You may indeed get the news of being set free at some point in the middle of the month. And then you're going to be working your plan. You're going to be figuring out what do I need to do next for my money, career, and biz life in whatever way these energies apply to you. But there may be tweaks to the plan. Just got to tell you, there may be tweaks to the plan because we have this energy of seeing things from a new perspective, hangman, and just taking a mental break for a sorts. So the Mercury retrograde period will be great for you to do that, Libra. So from May 29th until June 20th, Mercury will be retrograde in Gemini, which is your ninth house of the greater vision, the bigger picture of your life. So I suggest that you use those energies at that time to reevaluate, again, this four of wands energy. Where do you want to live? How do you want to live? How do you want to build foundational happiness for yourself in the world and in what you're doing in terms of how you're showing up in the world? So, you know, get your plan together, allow for some tweaks and, you know, you'll be fine. But... For those of you who are resonating with this reading and resonating with this energy, I mean, I really think it'll be fine. You got this six of swords here, which is great. And resonating with this situation that you're going to have to act fast on, you probably know what this is already. You know what this is. So as best you can, I'm filming this April 25th, as best you can get your ducks in a row and kind of plan ahead and be like, all right, if this thing happens, this is how I'll react. If that happens, this is how I'll react. Because as I said, you, I don't think you'll have the luxury of time to figure it out. So be proactive. As I always love to say, use this energy. Don't let it use you. Be proactive. Know how you're going to respond before the you know what hits the rotating oscillator. All right. All right. And you know, these are not bad energies. These are energies that are helping you shift out of a very stale situation that you're done. World is about wrapping things up. The cycle has come to a close. Like it's, it's done. All right, let's see. This fell out as I barely shuffled. Internet, embrace the fact that you are the world. So this is very interesting. I read these as metaphors. So some of you may be making a lot more worldly connections this month with your business. We're going to clarify this card. 
um, I'm feeling like a lot of this opening energy was probably for people who already are in some sort of job or trying to find a job and things have been either stuck or whatever. Um, but it, it could equally apply to people who have clients and who made a promise and they don't keep it. Um, but I'm feeling for those of you who have your own businesses in particular, this internet card is interesting. Embrace the fact that you are the world. And since we had the world card show up before, really being in front of the public a lot more. Some of you may need to up your internet presence, your social media presence. Uh, when internet comes up, you may need to have some sort of upgrade to your computer software, or your actual computer. If you're gonna do that, please do it before Mercury uh, goes retrograde, which is on the uh, 29th. So again, that first three weeks of Taurus season, use the energy, be proactive, get it done and don't wait until mercury goes retrograde to get your new imac <laughs> what do you think of the new imax libra let me know like your sign is so into the aesthetics of an experience let me know what you think this is not a sponsored video i'm just curious of what you think and which color you would get if you were getting one okay let me know let me know in the comments you guys have such a good aesthetic eye. I want to know what you think. All right, let's see. What are we asking about this internet? What do we need to know? Leo, strength energy. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Look at these major arcanas coming out in this reading for you. So look what we have. We have two very powerful fixed energies here, Leo and Taurus. So it is about, we're asking about the world card, the internet. It is about letting the world know about your particular strengths and skill set. This is not time to be shy and bashful and in a corner. Um, Hierophant could suggest that it is time to step up, step out, and start teaching what you know, Libra. Um, teaching your strengths to the world. Embrace the fact that you are the world. You have something very important to offer to your particular niche, your world community, and they need your wisdom and they need your gorgeous heart. That's the other thing about this Leo energy. It's about our heart space, heart's desires, teaching, learning, wisdom. So there's something here about that. It is time for you to get your message out in some sort of way that place your strengths and that has, you know, Hierophant for me is also about structure, okay? It is because it is about, um, I mean, think about it, Hierophant, hierarchy, it's like a same type, like there's things that are organized in a particular format. So it's something also about your organizational skills and the way you present your strengths to the world that's going to be very appealing to people so keep that in mind if you are creating something new this month like some sort of ebook or course or something like that make sure the structure the architecture the organization is really user friendly is what i am feeling all right let's see what else we have for that we have the eight of cups the five of cups the Eight of Wands, more Leo, and the King of Cups. Very, very nice energy. So you're going to find that this is a big turning point month for you where you're letting go of disappointing energies, energies from the past where things didn't work out, leaving behind stuck energies. This is the opposite of stuck, Eight of Wands. This is go, 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 fast, 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 lots of possibilities, lots of potentials, lots of things percolating. Um, very interesting. So we're, we may, this is, a, I'm getting like a feeling here. Okay, hold up. Your heart may take a tiny bit to catch up with your outward actions. So we have these two eights here. There may be a, twingy tingy twingy little something something still kind of there there's just a slight disappointment in the air shall we say it's not going to hold you back though because you got this energy and you're going to come out the other side uh, of this with this king of cups energy here like you're going to be in charge of this but what will help you libra if there's any of this regretful melancholy energy 
hanging around is to just simply focus on the potentials and the possibilities and focus on movement, movement, moving forward. Even if that movement is just, you know, a few steps every day, your emotions will shift because of the actions you are taking. So if there was, because we had the Ten of Swords in that other half of the reading, if there was something a little disappointing in regards, especially to somebody else and whatever they were doing or not doing for your business, you're going to move on from it. You're strong. It's, it's you know, but there's a little leftovers. You're, they will disappear the more you tap into this fast movement energy of momentum and excitement and you'll rise to the top. Your emotions will heal very fast, I feel, from this situation. You could have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces individual in your corner as well this month. Very, very possible. But gorgeous energy. And the other thing I'm feeling with this, too, is, you know, you're going to be emotionally, I feel, on top of the world. Like, you have this very strong energy of making something big happen for yourself this month that's going to make you feel more emotionally fulfilled than you have in a long time um it's not so much i mean we had some pentacles that popped out here as we know we had the three we had you know the other stuff the four but it's it's really also i feel you're building a foundation emotionally for yourself this month that's going to just continue to result in greater finances as we continue so you could be building something very, very strong for yourself this month. Um, and because we have two August energies here showing up, and it takes time, like you're, you're writing a book, you're building an online course, whatever, you're, you're building your new business online, it takes time for it to really ramp up. So you could see that what you commit to this month and start initiating really has a big push, a big momentum by the time we get to August season as well. So you're on the right track. You're leaving behind this blah, blah, yucky energy and really connecting with your people. I think you're going to start finding your people this month, Libra. Very, very nice. All right, Libra, I'm going to take this on the other side. I hope you will join me over there. Leave me a comment. Let me know how this energy is resonating for you. And I wish you all the best. Hope to see you on the other side. Well, I'm going to dive deeper into this, all right? Take care, and I will see you again soon. Stella Wild, signing out.